The Dev Blog, lads. Season 8 is here. Season 8 is here, lads. Let me get out of the chat box. Let me get out of the chat box. And I'm also not reading chat because I want to read this whole thing. Season 8 is all about Shaq. Perfection and glory. What's it called? Is there a name for this? For 20 years, Shaquille O'Neal embodied greatness. Is there a name for season 8? Or is it just Sh Shaq season 8? Shaq season 8? Is it called Shaq season 8? Okay. Did I see MVP Endgame Jokic? Okay, so. Endgame's officially arrived. At the end of the last season, cards arose. If you miss the announcement, these Endgame cards are cut above all above, yada yada yada. The first Endgame card is level 40, Jokic. Okay. Who's a point guard? No way! <laughs> Point guard Endgame Jokic. He's not going to run that fast, but still. Holy crap. I think everyone's going to go for level 40. I think everyone's going for level 40. Not going to lie. This summer test your lineup in the best of tier in domination. I mean, I'm going to do it because it's an end game. I don't want to play Dom. I'm just going to pay someone to do it. You can imagine I'm an out of position team, take on reward cards the entire year. A phase line of invincible and end game players finish this challenge and earn a special end game James Harden card. Finally, clutch time. My team's newest mode will continue to deliver. Fast pace 14 second move. We need to bring it to 18 next year. Um, tiers. Complete the 10 win tiers to reach the third end game reward. Oh, sorry, sorry. 100 wins is Chris Weber. Look for other 99 words away at 100. Dark Matter Jalen Rose at 50 wins. An invincible Mark Eaton on the wheel. Okay, that's not bad. Like, that's not bad at all. The annoying thing is that I'm going to freaking play Dom. I'm going to have to play Dom at some stage. Invincible rewards. Dark Matter Isaiah Thomas called it. Called it. Oh, this is the other Isaiah Thomas. This is 6 foot 1. Am I right that this is Pistons Isaiah Thomas? When the top leaders play, yeah, it's Pistons Isaiah Thomas. I was right. We were going to be getting a level one invincible small point guard. I told you guys. I called it, man. I called it. Level 40 was going to be endgame. Everything else is going to be invincible. Damn, called it all. Unlimited. Grant Hill could be him. Oh, TGO 100. Invincible Pete Maravich. So, so like, unbeatable Jacob is going to be really happy. He's going to be really, really happy. Um... With that one. 2,000 triple chart wins Invincible Dominique. I mean, outside of freaking Ricks. I don't think many people are close to that. Invincible Elgin in the vault. I'm going to be playing a lot of TV offline, so maybe I'll get that. Invincible Jerry West is not a card I want from draft. It's not a card I want from draft. And Invincible Dr. J, though. I'm not going to lie. He's going to be slightly better than RJ Barrett. Daryl Dawkins could be interesting because he's huge. He's a huge center. So as we're entering, the draft will receive an update. Feature pack starting. All new drafts will receive three Dark Matter cards from the feature pack. Okay, so guaranteed Dark Matters. New cards will still be eligible to draft in live with each release. And remember, each season of my team comes with a draft ticket. Oh, free draft ticket. That's going to make my series a hell of a lot better. So jump in and complete online with most powerful cards. Fair. Not too bad. A decade of my team. It's been 10 years. Wait, what the hell are we getting for a decade of my team? One more thing special is we include 10 memorable years since its debut with many iconic player cards. So in Season 8's pack mark, we'll be focusing on some of the players who made the biggest impact in community 30 years. So Gerald Green, 2K13. Um, Channing Fry is probably going to get a god tier card. I'm trying to think who's been playing through to who made an impact 30 years. Zach Levine, obviously. Um, Reggie Lewis. Dino Raja. Eddie freaking Curry. Um, Andre Iguodala, Hito Turkoglu, um, James Jones, possibly. Like, we're all oh, lads. Lads. If they can somehow give us a job. Jochi. Jochi was it, was him for years. Dean Wade. Dean Wade. Dean Wade. Biggest impact. It says on the My Team community, not just on My Team, which means we're getting, probably going to get Dean Wade. Obviously, like Jonathan Isaac, Mirasan. 
They're probably not going to be retro cards, but still. Just says they're going to focus on some of the players. I, I like that. I like that. I like that. To top it off, we are highlighting Legend of Kobe Bryant Shaq. Starting Friday, over a dozen Dark Matter versions will be made available from Endgame and new Invincible cards to insular special versions of the community releases. Or what? What does this mean? My team anniversary? What does this mean? The, my, the 20 My Team Anniversary cards being released season will find their way into two new collections. 10 players representing East, 10 representing West. Complete these for an endgame option pack featuring the cards released in Season 8. Okay. I don't get what... I don't understand what this means. Over a dozen Dark Matter versions of Kobe and Shaq will be made available. From endgame and new events. So we're going to be getting... On Friday. So what does that mean? That we're going get, to be getting new cards every week? I, I don't get this. Like, I'm very confused with this. So, like, I, I understand the 20th anniversary part. I, d I don't get this. It says Dark Matter versions from Endgame to special insert versions of Community's favorite releases, NBA 75 and more. So, does that mean, like, we're going to be getting Colossal Dark Matter Shack? Like... Does that mean we're going to be getting, like, every version of Shaq and Kobe are going to be in the game? So we're going to be getting, like, NBA 75th Dark Matter Shaq instead of NBA 75th Pink Diamond Shaq? I don't... I, like, I'm not going to say... I, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm not going to say WRL because I don't... I'm guessing it's going to be good, but I don't know what it means. I, I don't know what it means. Because... There's space saying old Dark Matter versions of their cards that weren't Dark Matters. Like, it, it's very confusing for what that means. Apparently, my team put out a tweet. Multiple positions of Kobe and Shaq. Okay, so they're going to get their endgame cards. Are there any cards to flash up? Okay, so from this video here, we can see there's an endgame shack. I don't know if he's going to be in packs or not. Harden's card art looks so sick. That card art looks so sick. So does Jokic's. Okay, and this is the picture, this is the picture, this is the picture. Anything else we can see here? Nothing of note. Nothing of note in this picture. I know you guys couldn't see it on screen. There's nothing of note. So yeah, um, it's fairly interesting, fairly interesting for people said very end of the video, there's nothing that we haven't seen in the dev vlog here. Shaq signature challenge, Jokic, some players, nothing we've seen here that we haven't, um, haven't seen anywhere else. So, um, yeah, this looks really interesting. Um, anything written at the end? Close remarks. Great things doesn't happen overnight. I, I, I'm, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued about this 20th anniversary. I'm more so, I'm a little bit concerned because they haven't mentioned the, um, free content. I think we're going to get plenty of it because they've done a really good job of that. But my one concern is that they didn't, like, they mentioned the whole grind for Richard Jefferson, the, like, one card every day thing. They mentioned that in Season 6, and in Season 7, they mentioned, like, the MB grind. I think there will be something good. The only thing was that, at least last season, they hinted at gauntlets, which and they haven't hinted at any sort of gauntlet challenges, which is a little bit concerning. 
like they hinted at a lot of free stuff last season and they haven't other than Harden they haven't hinted at any real free stuff this other than Harden and just the normal rewards they haven't hinted at any like in season free stuff I don't I think they'll do fine with it like whereas last year on the season 8 dev vlog they were putting in a bunch of hints and I was like they haven't done enough to earn any sort of trust from us to like expect them to do well I think this year they have done enough to earn some trust so I think it's gonna be fine but I don't know Okay. According to someone, according to someone in chat, there was chasing greatness agendas, ch based on historic finals slash playoff performances, in a in a like in an unreleased version of this. So if that's true, if if that is very true, if that ends up being a thing, then cool. I'm just surprised that it wasn't um in this whole blog. Also, shout out to Most Ballin for the raid. We appreciate it. Hope you're getting on well. So yeah, that is, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Like, I, I think it'll be a good season. I think it'll be a good season. I'm excited. A lot of end game cards, a lot of really, really good things. So I think it was um cool. And yes, the person that, the person that did say it was Herb, was Herb, um, who got sent it early. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.